What does the G in 5G mean? We're living in an ever-connected world where everything is becoming digitized. With this evolution comes a need for faster internet connectivity, and the next generation of cellular technology will ensure that we're able to stream 4K video, perform real-time cloud computing tasks, and much more. 5G has been hailed as the next big thing in cellular technology, promising to deliver faster internet speeds, lower latency, and better coverage than current generation networks. However, a lot of people get confused about what exactly the G stands for in 5G. I mean, it was the same letter used in 2G and 3G, so it must stand for something, right? So if you're curious about 5G and want to know more, stay tuned because I'm going to break it all down for you. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So what is it about G that has everyone so excited? Well, there are a couple things. The G in 5G isn't just a letter, it's short for generation. 5G is the fifth generation of cellular technology and it builds upon the previous generations of 2G, 3G, and 4G. Understanding how cellular technology works. Before we dive too deep into the world of G, let's first take a step back and understand how cellular technology works. Well, simply explained, it all starts with your phone. Your phone emits a radio signal that is picked up by a nearby cell tower. The cell tower then relays the signal to the network provider who sends it back as data. This process happens in real time and is how we're able to make calls, send texts, and even use data when we're on the go. But as you can imagine, there's a lot of data being transferred back and forth between your phone and the cell tower. So, with each new generation of cellular technology, the goal is to make this process more efficient. In other words, they want to make it faster, have less latency, and be able to handle more data. And that's why we leap from one generation to the next. And the latest is, of course, 5G. How one generation moves to another. You must be wondering how the technology has changed and improved with each generation. Well, I'm glad you asked. It all started with 1G, which was launched in the 1980s. This was the first generation of cellular technology, and it allowed people to make voice calls. But there were a few drawbacks. The biggest one being that calls would often drop because the signal wasn't always stable. 2G was then introduced in the early 1990s, and it improved upon 1G by adding digital signal processing. This made the signal more stable and allowed for things like text messaging. 3G was launched in the early 2000s, and it brought us the ability to use data. This was a big deal because now we could browse the internet, check our email, and do a lot of things we take for granted today. 4G was the next generation of cellular technology, and it was launched in the 2010s. This is the generation we're currently on, and it has drastically improved speeds and latency. 4G also laid the foundation for things like streaming video and using applications that require a lot of data. And finally, we have 5G, which is the latest and greatest generation of cellular technology. 5G is still in its infancy, but it has the potential to change the way we use our phones and connect to the internet. So, you may be wondering how we move from one generation to the next. Well, it all has to do with the underlying infrastructure that's used to support the technology. 1G was supported by analog networks, 2G was supported by digital networks, 3G was supported by broadband networks, 4G was supported by LTE networks, and 5G is expected to be supported by even more advanced technology such as OFDM, which is short for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing. It's a type of signal that can be transmitted over a wide frequency range and is very resistant to interference. The idea here is that as the technology evolves, the infrastructure that's used to support it has to evolve as well. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to take advantage of the new capabilities that are made available with each generation. What does the G stand for? Now that we have a general understanding of how cellular technology works and how the generations differ from one another, let's talk about what the G in 5G actually stands for. Well. The G in 5G simply stands for generation. As I mentioned before, 5G is the fifth generation of cellular technology. You 
you might be wondering why the letter G is used to denote generations of cellular technology. Well, it all started back with 1G, which was short for first generation. G, or generation in the context of cellular technology, refers to the state of the art for that particular time period. From there, the naming convention just sort of stuck and each new generation has been denoted by the next number with G. So, 2G was followed by 3G, then 4G, and now 5G. They're basically just keeping it simple and easy to remember. Let's take a look at how 5G has been doing so far. 5G is already here today, and global operators started launching new 5G networks in early 2019. Also, all major phone manufacturers are commercializing 5G phones. And soon, even more people may be able to access 5G. 5G has been deployed in 60 plus countries and counting. We are seeing much faster rollout and adoption compared with 4G. Consumers are very excited about the high speeds and low latencies. But 5G goes beyond these benefits by also providing the capability for mission critical services, enhanced mobile broadband and massive internet of things. While it is hard to predict when everyone will have access to 5G, we are seeing great momentum of 5G launches in its first year, and we expect more countries to launch their 5G networks in 2022 and beyond. So there you have it, a quick overview of what the G in 5G stands for. I hope this has helped to clear things up, and if you want to learn more about tech, make sure to check out our other videos. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.